So today we're going to take a look at Windows 9 Professional, and oh no wait, sorry, it's Windows 10. They've kind of changed everything around and it's actually really cool. <laughs> So, sorry for the loud beat, but this is Windows 10, we really want to show off quickly, and we want to be a bit humorous. Now, jo uh, Joe Belfour, sorry if I messed up your name, is uh, showing off um, the basically the Windows 10 tech demo, uh, which hopefully can be found at preview.windows.com. Currently, the website looks like this, but fingers crossed you'll be able to download it very, very shortly, and we will be, and we'll be making a video as soon as we can. Now, the uh, Joe shows off the um, new UI, which includes the new start menu, um, which is basically the collaboration of Windows 10, uh, Windows 7 start menu with the Windows 8 start menu, but all in the same sort of, you don't have to get kicked out of one user experience, uh, which is really, really nice. Um, one thing we'll talk about later is the start menu, but you can change uh, the t live tiles around, which is pretty nice. And the uh, search is back. Uh, it's in the start menu, and it's basically Windows 7's, uh, uh, Windows 8 start uh, search button, the Windows 7 sort of taskbar. Now, you know those uh, really annoying apps that keep popping up and covering you, uh, covering over your whole screen, and you can't really exit out them? Well, now you can with Windows 10. It's really cool. All the um, Metro-y style apps, or the modern UI style apps, are all now, uh, you know, uh, easily exitable, all windowed, and all able to be moved around. One new thing is the Snap Assist feature, as well as the Task View feature, which is the one you just clicked on, um, and that basically is uh, kind of like Expose for Mac, or the uh, the desktop changer thing on Linux. It's very, very common, but Snap Assist is actually pretty uh, interesting. You can now have up to four windows snapped on any one uh, screen, and uh, basically it, it, it intelligently sorry, asks uh, you what windows you want to snap next, which is really, really nice, and it's quite interesting. If you're running out of desk space, you can always add another desktop, just like Linux or Mac already, but it's a nice feature to have, and I've actually been looking for it in Windows for a while, so this is pretty nice to be having. One thing I would note is that if you're used to having a minimalist start bar, goodbye to that thought, because you now have at very least three things, which is the start button, the search button, and the snap, uh, sorry, the um, task view button on the bottom. Now Windows 10 is designed to be the one product family, one platform, one store experience, where everything is kind of all the same operating system, except it's slightly different. So for um, keyboard and mouse users, you have the nice, nice start menu we've been asking for for ages, but on tablet devices and touchscreen devices and things like the Xbox One, all of those will be more, you know, geared against the modern UI style sort of stuff, and if you are an enterprise user, fear not, Windows 10 still brings all your modern management jazz, as you can see here, um, and hopefully it won't change too much, but still be uh, a bit of an improvement. So that's pretty much it, thanks for watching this video, we're going to be taking out the tech demo very, very shortly, so yeah, stick around for that, otherwise that's pretty much it, um, thanks, and we'll see you all in the next video. So thanks for watching this Tech Team GB video, you've probably seen enough of me already, so I'm going to go away. Right after I say, if you haven't already liked or disliked, just let us know why in the comments down below as well. Um, check out some of our other videos, hopefully there'll be some somewhere around me. And then also, um, feel free to subscribe as well, that really helps us out, um, and yeah, obviously it shows companies that you love us. So if you do love us, check us out on Facebook or Twitter, hopefully there will also be some stuff around here maybe. Um, but otherwise that's pretty much it from me, so we'll see you all in the next video.